All of us have those mornings when we wake up and we just did not get enough sleep last night. We stumble into the bathroom and look in the mirror and find that we have terrible looking eye bags. So hopefully this method will help you look a little bit brighter and more well rested even though there is no replacement for sleep. First of all, start with a good skincare regimen. Always begin with a clean slate. Um, also, well moisturized and cleansed skin looks brighter and healthier, which will also help you look a little more well rested. Always wash your face with warm water, not hot water. Um, the only time I use anything warmer than warm water is if I'm trying to open my pores for like a Biore strip or something. And then when you're done cleansing your face, you should rinse with the final rinse um, with cool water so that you can close your pores back up and that will also help prevent dirt um, getting back into your pores. Also, when you dry your face, make sure that you pat dry, never rub because you'll cause damage to your skin cells, you can make your skin dry, and it'll also pull the skin and possibly cause more wrinkles. The next thing you need is a good toner, and you should also pat the toner on just like you would pat dry your face because once again, you don't want to rub your face and cause any damage. Then of course, you need a good daytime moisturizer with SPF protection and rub it on your face in, in a very gentle manner and also when you put it on make as many upward motions as possible so that you can lift your face and not drag the skin down. Then you need something for your eyes and um, I usually use an uplifting complex. Whenever you're applying something to your eyes always use your ring fingers because they happen to be the weakest fingers on your face so they'll cause the least amount of damage to your eyes and very gently apply the uh, complex to your eyes so that you can uh, have plenty of moisture there but typically regular uh, moisturizer isn't good for your eyes. I like to get dressed first before um, I put on my makeup so that my moisturizer will set in so um, that's why you see me dressed now and I'm about to apply some foundation. You can use whatever you want. I just happen to use mineral foundation. All my makeup is mineral makeup. So um, that's what you'll see me use. So I'm just putting my foundation on right now. And this will just even out the skin tone so that everything looks uniform. And then in this little mixing bowl that I got from Everyday Minerals, I'm gonna put a foundation that's slightly lighter than my skin tone and some highlighter and I'm just going to mix those two together and apply it under my eyes so that I can brighten up that area because that's often the area that we see um, the most evidence of lack of sleep because we get those dark circles. I also like to apply a little bit of that highlighter mixture to the um, cheekbones so that you can also highlight that area and brighten up the area around your eyes as well and then uh, blend everything in. I also like to take just straight highlighter and put it on um, the brow bone so that you can highlight that part of the face as well because your eyes are one of the first things that people notice so this is the part of the face that I really wanted to emphasize is bright. Then I like to add a little bit of a semi shimmery brush, blush. It's like a blush with a, a sheen to it and I just apply it to the apples of my cheeks on both sides to give a little bit of warmth and, and uh, rosiness to the face because a, a rosy complexion often denotes a well-rested face. Then uh, if you happen to have a broad nose, you can add highlighter to the, to the tip of your nose to give a little bit more of a, a narrow look to your nose. Now I'm going to add some concealer to the spots that need concealing. I actually have a remnant of a pimple on my forehead that you can't really see in the video, but that's what I'm covering up right here. And then I also like to add a little bit more to the eye area to help blend in the, um, the foundation that's lighter than my skin so that it's not so obvious. And then sometimes you need a little bit more coverage, so the concealer also works really well too cover up more of the veins and dark circles because I, I have a I have really translucent skin so my veins tend to show through a lot so I like to cover them up. 
Then for the eyes, what I like to do is take some white eyeshadow. And you could also use white eyeliner, but the reason I like to use eyeshadow is because as you apply this, um, bits of dust fall underneath the lash as well, which gives it a nice little uh, subtle glow underneath the lashes. Be very careful when you're applying this because you don't want to stick yourself in the eye with a uh, eyeshadow applicator. So just do this very carefully. And if you notice, I'm not tugging on my eye at all because I don't want to loosen the skin in any way. I like to keep my skin taut so that I don't end up with crow's feet and wrinkles too early in life. So as you see, I'm just gently applying it all the way around and then just very carefully make sure that you don't hit your eye. It takes some practice, especially um, lining the wet of your eye without tugging on your um, eyelids, but it's a very good practice to learn. And you can already tell a little bit that the eyes definitely look a lot brighter. And I like to highlight the, uh, the inner corners of the eye as well because that, once again, brings attention to the eye and brightens up the eye area, which is usually um, the part of the face that people notice first, and also the part of the face that really shows whether or not you got plenty of rest. And once again, I'm using the same white eye eyeshadow to uh, highlight the brow bone. So, you see that there. Now, um, this method can be used with any color eyeshadow you want on your lids. Um, this day I decided to use bronze because I just felt like it looked good with my outfit. So here you see me putting on some shimmery bronze eyeshadow, but you can use whatever color you want. Um, for people with brown eyes, the colors that seem to work the best are bronzes and greens and uh, purples and certain blues. I believe, uh, well just in general, you should always wear a color that contrasts, but the thing about brown is that it's a mixture of so many different colors that there isn't really one true contrasting color to brown. So. In a way, that's a good thing because people with brown eyes can wear a lot of different things. Then I like to take um, a mini kabuki type brush and just blend everything in and uh, dust off any uh, of the eyeshadow that might have fallen below your eyes. Then I take some finishing powder and like I said, you can use anything you want. In this case, I'm using bare minerals, but sometimes I use everyday minerals. And I just spread this all over my face to kind of set the makeup. And I like to put a lot on my forehead because I have a tendency to sweat a lot at my hairline, so I don't want that to be shiny. And just spread it all around and really blend everything in. And even here, you can already see that uh, I definitely look a lot better than I did when I first stumbled into the bathroom. Now I'm just going to add some mascara. And when applying mascara, you should always start at the base of the eyelash and then wiggle the brush left and right all the way up until you reach the tip of the eyelashes. Another good tip in order to um, maximize volume is to uh, first brush the tips of your eyelashes and then go to the base of your eyelash and then wiggle your way up. And then now I'm just putting some mascara on the bottom lashes. And then I'm just going to do the right side, the same method, start at the base and wiggle the way up. I happen to like a more natural mascara look, and so I don't put two coats, but... And here you see the finished product, and as you can tell, the eyes really kind of glow and pop. So um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helps you to look a little bit more rested when you haven't gotten enough rest.